In this science project, you will investigate what extreme temperatures microbes can survive. You will temperature treat the microbes and then attempt to culture them on auger plates to see if there are any survivors. So you want to find a good water source that probably has a diversity of microbes. So you could take your jar and just go ahead and fill it up. So we have a nice sample of the water. Once you have your water sample, you'll want to measure out 20 milliliters, which is not very much. So take your 20 mils of water sample and go ahead and put it in one of the jars. And you'll repeat this so that you have three jars with your water sample and also two muffin tins, each with one cup filled. So take one of your samples in the glass jar with no lid and put it in the freezer. Take one of your jars with a water sample and put it in the refrigerator. For one of the jars, go ahead and leave it at room temperature. For one of your water samples, you'll want to put it at the oven set to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Have an adult help you set the oven to the correct temperature and help you use the oven. All right, so take one of your water samples and you'll want to put it in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Let all of your samples sit at the correct temperature for 60 minutes. Once you are all done temperature treating your different samples, you should have five different ones that look like this. Then you are ready to go ahead and put it on the plate. So what you want to do is carefully open this end here and you only need one to start. So let's take one out. Make sure this doesn't touch anything. You can dip it into your sample, swirl it around. And then we're just gonna do a simple zigzag pattern on the plate. I'm gonna go all the edge and all the way top and bottom like that. There we go. Now it's ready to sit for a few days. After you are done preparing your five auger plates, go ahead and put them somewhere out of the way at room temperature, upside down, and check them each day for three days. So you should end up with colonies of microbes that look kind of like this. So if you get colonies like this, then it means that you successfully could grow the microbes um, after they were treated. There are many other things you can try for this experiment. For more ideas and written instructions, make sure you check out the link in the video description. For over a thousand other projects in all areas of science and engineering, check out our website at www.sciencebuddies.org.